Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to try and take out the dashboard so we can continue with the work. I think this will be one of the last disassembling videos before we start to work on the car. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so the main reason why we're going to take out the dashboard is because if we're going to use angle grinders, we don't want the sparks to hit the dashboard because it's going to damage it. Also, since we'll be have to repairing stuff like this, it's smart to take out the dashboard because the welding and the heat can actually damage and ruin the dashboard. And also it gives us better access to the firewall. We're going to keep the steering wheel in the car so we can move it. Let's get to work. Okay, so first things first, since we already took out the windscreen, we can now inspect for any potential uh, mounting points. As you can see here, there's a potential mounting point here, and then there. Here's another one. And we also took out the glove box. Uh, now we can get into the darkness to check out where the mounting points are normally you can buy service manuals for cars like this and stuff like that should be in it uh, i don't have one yet so i'm just going to kind of freestyle it and try to look for mounting points myself i read on forums that there should be 10 millimeter nuts on the mounting points so over here you can see the first mounting point and it's actually missing the nut so most likely somebody has been working on the car and took it out and forgot to put it in also, we can check now on the sides if there's any nuts. And moving on, this black stuff here, this is actually the air ducts. Uh, we want to be very careful with those not to break it because uh, when you put on the fan, this will help to defrost your windscreen. So uh, because it's old plastic, it's likely to crack. So as you can see, there's another nut that holds the dashboard in. If we're going to pull out the dashboard too quickly, we can end up with broken uh, air ducts. Okay, so we have unscrewed the steering wheel column uh, now we're going to take out the radio. The way to do this is actually to pull off the buttons and then you have a plastic nut here that you unscrew and then the radio should come out. Now it's, it's smart to put the nuts uh, and the buttons back on so you don't lose them. The buttons have an uneven shape so it's only one way that the buttons go back on the radio. Okay guys, so for this bit here, we take out the air adjustment levers and we use flathead screwdrivers to gently pull the face away. Now, underneath here, there are two holes uh, and they contain two uh, bolts. So we undo this and the whole thing should come off. Okay, so we've undone this nut here and this one, you just loosen it up because it's like a fork, so the bolt uh, only holds it in by friction, so when you undo them a little bit you can start sliding the dashboard backwards.
so guys thank you so much for joining in uh, we've taken out the dashboard uh, as you can see we still have some wires left and stuff and the speedometer but this will come in next time so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something thank you and see you next time